excited to share with you all this amazing new tool that we've got here at Edible Acres. It's a 3000 watt DC battery powered wheelbarrow. My friend Carl who runs Electric Bike Blog uh, made an article about this back in September and I read that article and I knew we had to have one. So we worked together for about two days. He did almost all the work. I learned as I went. We filmed the whole process and uh, we'd like to share with you, uh, to the best of our ability, how he put this all together. We're between five and six hundred dollars for all the parts, and uh, it's a beast. It's a powerful machine. You could probably build this yourself if you're comfortable with some basic uh, drilling of metal, modifying of metal, if you understand electronics decently. So let me show you what this thing can do. So in some ways this wheelbarrow isn't all that complex. It's based on a standard wheelbarrow. Uh, in this case it's a six cubic foot all steel true temper wheelbarrow. We went with this. Uh, the, it has a flat free tire by default which is really convenient and just a good sturdy well-built wheelbarrow. It's about a hundred bucks. We got this from Home Depot but maybe your local hardware store might have, might have something like this. And what Carl used on his build and so we decided just to mimic this, he suggested it, is a Luna Drive, which is this unit here. We're going to link in the description to this. Not that cheap, but incredibly powerful. And you can see we used off-the-shelf bolts and nuts and washers to mount this onto the frame. In fact, we made a few mistakes here or there, but it's still very strong and sturdy. And that matches up to a chain ring, which is paired to the wheel. <coughs> Excuse me. That's offset with these bolts that have sheath uh, tubes over them. And again, in these other videos, we spend about a half hour in total between the two videos explaining in detail how he puts this all together to the best of our ability. But that basically takes a 3000 watt motor and pairs it directly to that wheel with an incredibly strong ratio. This can go up steep ramps with heavy, heavy loads with no problems. And you can see it's driven by an off-the-shelf electric battery. In this case, an 80-volt Greenworks system. We're not sponsored by them. In fact, I bet they would rather us not do this. Uh, but we modified. I happen to have these because I use their lawn mower and weed whacker and chainsaw. I like their products. And I happen to have an extra one of these. So we gutted this, wired it in, and now this runs on 80 volts, 2 amp hour with one bar of charge on the inaugural run, I was able to move 15 or so, 20 or so, really serious loads of material, hundreds of yards through four inches of snow with ice. It was kind of ridiculous. Now you can see it's got a little trigger here. Turns on. And ready for action. Really wants to go. So if the idea of building something like this is exciting to you, definitely encourage you to check out the description below. Look at the other videos we put together. Like I said, to the best of our ability, we filmed every step we could. There's a little missing here or there. The assumption is if you're going to watch those videos and try to do this, you're careful. You know what you're doing already when it comes to wiring. Um, basic machining, electric bike background knowledge, or just bicycle building knowledge is all worthwhile and you've got a basic suite of tools. But this is not an incredibly complex project. Now that Carl taught me how to do it, I feel like I could almost make it again myself. Luckily I don't have to because he helped me. 
and it's all set. Carl, thanks so much, and definitely check out his blog and his YouTube channel to learn more, and hopefully you'll have some amazing electronic support in moving thousands of pounds around.